Hello guys, welcome back to our new series on Bluetooth Low Energy. This series will mainly focus on practical sessions as we will sniff live packets of BLE and understand. A very informative BLE series explained in simple terms. So let's So in this lecture we will learn about the basic understanding of Bluetooth Low Energy stack. What are the roles of Bluetooth Low Energy? At the end of this lecture you will be familiar with some terminologies that will be helpful for you when we start with our coding sessions. So let's start with Bluetooth stack. Bluetooth Low Energy protocol stack is basically divided into three sections. application host and controller controller is the lowermost layer protocol in the stack so this controller is a combination of hardware and software and its main functionality is to transmit and receive the rf signals for bluetooth using gfsk modulation through an antenna and second thing is that it is a hard real time section so the host is typically a software stack which is the topmost layer of the le stack So this block contains protocols that are responsible for configuring Bluetooth Low Energy, for maintaining the data to send and receive, for security management, and for data fragmentation and recombination. Let's come to the application section. This is basically user-centric section where you can write your actual applications as per your use case. So this host and controllers are basically library. defined by the manufacturer itself and using this library we build our application so in this series we will be more mainly focusing on the application level development of bluetooth low energy so now let's see how the bluetooth low energy stack actually looks like now we will be having a very short understanding of each protocol stack layer as we need to understand few things before we start the coding session physical layer so it is a hardware layer that contains the analog communication circuitry capable of modulating and demodulating analog signal and transforming them into digital symbols as you can see in the diagram here there it is this is just for reference this is not an actual diagram so it will be having an antenna uh, some filters will be there adcs will be there uh, the data when the data is received demodulation will be done and when the data is transmitted a modulation will be done coming to ble data throughput so it means at what rate at what speed you can send a data in ble so there are three configuration 1m physical 2m phy and le coded phy 1m phy sends data at the rate of 1 mbps in bluetooth terms a uh, bit per second is also called symbol per second and this configuration is supported from bluetooth version 4.0 Second is 2 MPHY. 2 MPHY allows physical layer to operate at 2 Mbps, thus enabling high data rate but less range coverage. And this configuration is supported in Bluetooth 5.0 only. Third is LE coded PHY. So there are two schemes in this to transmit the data. One we can transmit at the rate of 500 kbps when s is equal to 2 the symbol is equal to 2 which will be half of 1 mphy and other scheme is s is equal to 8 that is 1 mphy 1 mbps divided by 8 so that is 120 125 kbps this is used for long range distance data transmission and supported only in bluetooth 5.0 core bli operates in ism band 2 2.4 gigahertz which is a free band for short distance communication it is segmented in 40 rf channel each separated by 2 megahertz as shown in the figure below there are 0 to 39 channel index out of which three channels are used for primary advertising and the remaining 37 channels are used for the secondary advertising and data transfer during a connection so what is this primary advertising and secondary advertising we will be understanding this in coding sessions in the diagram below the one marked in dark blues are used for advertising in bluetooth low energy the frequency modulation is used to transmit data or rf so the frequency of the rf radio wave are varied to allow either a zero or one to be sent using a gaussian frequency shift key modulation so as wifi also uses 2.4 gigahertz spectrum there are possibilities of packet drops and packet packet collision 
सो फॉर दैट ब्लूटूथ टेक्नोलॉजी यूज अ टेक्निक कॉल्ड एडवांस फ्रीक्वेंसी हॉपिंग सो वॉट इज एडवांस फ्रीक्वेंसी हॉपिंग वी विल कवर दिस इन द कोडिंग सेशन्स द लिंक लेयर इज द पार्ट दैट डायरेक्टली इंटरफेसिस विद द फिजिकल लेयर एंड इट इज यूजली अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर सो बेसिकली द लिंक लेयर कंट्रोल्स द फिजिकल लेयर ऑन वॉट एक्शंस और वॉट डेटा ट्रांसमिशन एंड रिसिप्शन टू बी डन सो आई हैव मैंशन फ्यू फंक्शनैलिटीज ऑफ द लिंक लेयर ऑल दो दोज आर नॉट लिमिटेड टू दीज सो वन ऑफ द फंक्शनैलिटी इज सी आर सी जनरेशन एंड वेरिफिकेशन सो वेन एवर अ पैकेट इज रिसीव्ड अ ट्वेंटी फोर बिट सी आर सी इज चेक्ड एट द लिंक लेयर इफ इट इज करेक्ट देन द पैकेट इज प्रोसेस्ड फर्दर इफ नॉट नो एक्नोलेजमेंट इज सेंड फॉर दैट पैकेट एंड सेकेंड इज जनरेटिंग इफ वी वॉन्ट टू सेंड अ डेटा द लिंक लेयर जनरेट्स अ सी आर सी फॉर द लिंक लेयर पैकेट द सेकेंड इज ए ई एस इनक्रिप्शन सो इनक्रिप्शन इज डन एट द लिंक लेयर बट द कीज आर जनरेटेड बाय द सिक्योरिटी मैनेजर प्रोटोकॉल ऑल्सो इट परफॉर्म द डेटा डिक्रिप्शन फॉर ऑल द रिसीव डेटा थर्ड फंक्शनैलिटी इज वाइट लिस्ट बींग अ स्कैनर और अ एडवर्टाइजर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट टू अ स्पेसिफिक डिवाइस then this is done through this whitelist feature of link layer the host layer provides an address bluetooth address to the link layer if the connection request for that for that particular address is received then only the link layer will initiate connection or else the packet will be dropped we will see this practically in our upcoming sessions so the operation of the link layer can be described in terms of state machine with the following state the link layer state machine allows only one state to be active at a time so consider you have a esp32 bluetooth device so it can be in any of this state so if it is advertising it will not be in connection state as well so and only one state will be active at a time so in the standby state no transmission or reception of packets will be there so the device will be idle advertising state will be transmitting advertising physical channel packets and possibly listening and responding to responses triggered by the advertising physical channel packet in the scanning state we are listening for the advertising packets in the initiating state will be listening for advertising physical channel packets from a specific device and responding to these packets to initiate a connection with another device the connection state can be entered either from the initiating state or from the advertising state host controller interface the host controller interface is the interface between the host and the controller so as we discussed earlier the controller section is kept isolated from the host section because the controller is a hard real time section so the interface can be a logical interface or a physical interface so for a use case where the controller and the host are on the same processor or or same running on same processor or microcontroller then there will be a logic a software written to handle the host controller interface but if your use case requires you to have a controller and host on a different uh, processor or microcontroller then to communicate between these two you will need a physical medium so the physical medium can be uart usb or sdio as defined by the bluetooth hic we can con consider an example of bluetooth mouse for physical hic interface so in bluetooth mouse you have a physical interface of usb that is connected to your laptop your laptop acts as a host and the usb module has a controller stack on it so as you move the mouse the mouse transmits the data to the controller module and through usb it is uh, the data is sent to the host that is your laptop so this is a simple example of uh, physical interface so for logical interface Uh, let us consider our esp32 module is connected to a mobile via bluetooth to receive wifi credentials so in this case both the controller and the host are on the esp module itself this will be an example for logical interface as you can see in the figure below the communication between host and controller is based on commands and events so like host send a le set periodic advertising time command to the controller and controller acknowledges with a complete event the next layer is l2cap Log logical link control and adoption protocol 
so this layer acts as a protocol multiplexer that takes multiple protocols from the upper layer the attribute and the security manager protocol and encapsulate them into a standard BLE packet format it also performs fragmentation and recombination what is this term protocol in the L2 cap so the protocol is a standard packet that is defined by BLE which is useful for interoperability suppose for an example that you are using a host for TI and your controller is for ESP32 and if you are not using a standard packet for L2 cap and you are transmitting the data to the controller then the controller won't be able to decode your packet so that is the reason we are using protocol attribute protocol security manager protocol now let's come to the fragmentation and recombination fragmentation is a process which takes large packet from the upper layer breaks them up into chunks that fit the maximum payload size of the BLE packet on the link layer Recombination does the reverse process. It takes multiple packets that are received, recombines them into a single large packet and upstream it to the upper layer of the host. For example, as we can see in the figure, two packets of maximum length 23 bytes are received at the link layer, which is a fragmented data. L2CAP recombines these two packets into a single large packet and sends data to the upper layer. Security Manager Protocol the security manager defines the protocols and algorithms for generating and exchanging keys between the two devices that are required for encrypting the data. So below are a few important encryption keys. In LE legacy pairing method, there are two keys generated, temporary key that is used in the pairing process and the short term key used to encrypt a connection after the pairing. In LE secure connect pairing method, LTK long term key is used that is also 128 bit key used to encrypt the connection IRK is 128 bit key used to generate and resolve random address so BLE device has its address so actual address is not sent to the peer device so this IRK key is used to resolve the actual address at the peer device and connection signature resolving key is a 128 bit key used to sign data and verify signature on the receiving device don't worry if these terms are new to you uh, in our upcoming sessions we will understand LE legacy pairing, LE secure connection, GAT and GAP layer of BLE stack and BLE role will be covered in the second part of this lecture in the next video as this video would become too lengthy. If you find this video helpful do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.